and I was just scrolling through Facebook and this picture of him showed up with this huge grin. And I was like, oh my gosh, that dog is so happy. Look how happy that dog is. I mean, his face is just so animated. He looked like a cartoon character. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that dog. And so I applied to adopt him. Honestly, he's like that all the time. He's just such an entertaining dog. It is just impossible to be unhappy around him. Joe fell in love from the second one. It was like so that emoji with the heart eyes. He was so enamored with me from the first second that we had him. Because sometimes I feel like the third wheel. I don't know who Joe would choose if it came down to it. You or me, I really don't. Harry's <laughs> laying around in the back like a baby around the house. And Beatty just loves it. He'll just lay his head on Joe's shoulder. And he just has this big old grin. He just eats it up. I think he just likes to be touched. It's a very typical pitbull trait. They really just want to be close to their people. And when we first brought him home, he was just so, so bad. He was such a naughty dog. He's like a three-year-old that just throws temper tantrums when he doesn't get his way. He just had no impulse control. If he wanted to be sitting where you were sitting, he was going to come sit in your lap. And if he didn't get what he wanted, when he wanted it, he would just scream his face off. <coughs> Joe will let him get away with murder. I will not. Meaty knows that he's the pushover. He knows he can get Dad to do whatever he wants. Got Dad wrapped around his little plot. We spent a lot of time doing dog training with him, and Meaty is actually insanely smart. I think that's why he was so naughty. He's just borderline genius and he really wasn't being challenged or being worked in any way. Wait. He loves a dog and once we started doing the training with him I was like wow this dog has so much potential. Okay. Good boy! He has his own wardrobe a dresser in the garage and he knows when he puts the costume on he knows it's time to work. And so he gets very excited and he starts stamping at the feet because he knows he's going to get treats and he gets really excited. So I've had nipples since 2006 and I remember at times people would cross the street to get away from me. But there's just something about Petey's appearance that is so warm and so welcoming and I've seen him make a difference big time with people who were like, oh, I don't know about nipples. His smile, he just looks like such a clown and it's just impossible to dislike him. He really is just a sweet boy that just wants to be loved all the time. Oh, bud. <laughs> it's just so nice to have just this happy presence. You look down and you remember how simple life can be and how easy the pleasures of life can be when you have a little being around you that's just constantly beaming. Life is good. Good girl. She loves big dogs. She's so small to be a pit bull, but she knows she's a big dog. She's a dwarf. She has very bad hip dysplasia. She has bent legs. She has flipper feet, her little paws. They're not really developed. You're not feeling it? Come on, says. I think I need a break. I drive far away from the man, far away from the AC train. I need some holiday. I climb up to the top of the Everyone mountain. Everyone kind of said that she probably would only have three years. I dive down to the roots of the ocean to gather the away. Do it, yeah. She's the most
Firstly, I'm Jen. Can't confuse me with the boys. <laughs> and subscribe.